Fort Wayne City Councilman Glenn Hines held his annual State of the Sixth District address this morning. As News Channel 15 Sarah Wagner explains, Hines reflected on the past year while looking ahead to future projects. Councilman Hines calls it a day of accountability, a day where he can share information with the southeast side of Fort Wayne, and they can provide feedback in return. I don't look at it as pluses and minuses. I look at those things that we were able to do um, that brought uh, quality of life improvement to the district, and I continue on. When looking back at 2014, Hines says he's most proud of the McMillan Community Center, a project that took three years of planning and opened last June. Other items on today's agenda included the repeal of collective bargaining and the decrease in crime. Hines says collective bargaining didn't save the city any money because it didn't include public safety employees. And that was a false pretense, and I think if we get the majority Democrats on council, I commit to be, that being my first piece of legislation in 2016. Of the city's 12 homicides in 2014, nine happened on the southeast side. However, that's down from 32 homicides in Fort Wayne in 2013. The element that, that uh, continues to, to take crime as their way of life, we need to eradicate that element. Uh, we want to help them if they, if they want to be helped, but we want to eliminate them if they're in the way of progress. The southeast side is the smallest quadrant in the city, but takes 32 percent of all police calls. We are very busy. Deputy Chief for the Southeast District, Derek Westfield, says that even with that high call volume, crime is decreasing. The increase of the citizen involvement has really helped us in um, identifying these subjects and individuals so that we can get them off the streets. Westfield also says the initiative to tear down more than 300 blighted homes will continue to help bring down crime. Tearing them down is going to not only make the community look better, it's going to keep those individuals out of that, you know, the drug activity and things like that. The southeast part of town has very, very dedicated people, all right? So many times we get a bad image of the southeast part of town, but it's not like that, and that's just what um, we're working on to change that image. Hines says he's also focused on bringing more jobs and affordable housing to the southeast side throughout the next year. In Studio 15, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.